uh, in the extraction action. So um, what we're going to want to do is change the names of the columns to better represent the uh, information that's shown on the screen. So in order to do that, all we have to do is select the column names and just change the column name field. Okay, so the first column is record and number and item. Oops. Um, price and the last one is category. As you may have noticed, it created a um, sixth column because of the some of these items had spaces or dashes in them. Um, this is pretty easy to correct. Um, select category and hold down the shift key and select um, column six and click merge and it puts everything under category. Simple as that. So um, after that's done then click finish. Okay. Page down here to get to the bottom of the screen and click next and we can select the end when a unique screen is recognized uh, option here. Click next. Um, extract data from the last screen. Click next. And we want to recognize this again by the display report text. And next and finish. And finish. And uh, F3 to exit, F3 again to get to the main menu, and stop the macro. And from here we'll um, choose main again as the way for um, hats to recognize that it's come to the end of the macro. And we'll save our macro now. Okay, and we're done. Okay, now that we're, we're finished with that, we'll want to test the macro. So we'll click the Play Macro button. It's not going to show the flag. Is it? Okay, there it is, Play Macro button. And you see, it prompts us for the value. Because it's running the query, it's skipping through all of those pages and stuff, and it's going to give us an HTML version right here. Pretty sweet, huh? Okay, so um, that's how hats can, um, how you can record a macro in hats uh, for skipping through some fields on the AS400 and getting straight to the results that you want to see.